is now up to tier three. We're having Jackson's room wallpapered. <laughs> Quickly going to write his birthday card. Hey, hey, hey. Going to be our kitchen, but it's <laughs> progress in Jackson's room. Whoa down to the wire tonight and hiding out in the front room away from Matt because I'm actually going to wrap and sort out his birthday presents. I So this morning we're eating in the conservatory. We finally worked out how to do the heating in this room. So we've actually been using it. There's a little gas fire over here. And if you turn it on, it kind of like heats up the room in about 10, 15 minutes. So it's actually really nice and bright. This is still eventually going to be our kitchen, but it's actually so nice to have this extra space. And we're gonna have Christmas dinner here and everything. So daddy is busy with a decorator upstairs so we're quickly going to write his birthday card we ordered a giant card on moon pig and we like put all pictures of the boys on it so we're just gonna write inside it i think you're gonna draw a picture he's really up for it my channel and to another vlog today I thought I would film a day in the life for you guys it's actually the first day of the Christmas holidays for the boys today um, they ended up finishing school a couple of days early so I think we're just gonna stay home and chill this morning the weather is currently not very good but if it brightens up we might go to the skate park um, or just like for a little run around and then we've also heard about an amazing Christmas house near us so we might go and check that out as well but this morning I think we might just do some games with the boys we discovered in lockdown that they love it when we play with them and get involved it was a real way of us bonding with the kids when we were having so much time at home and I mentioned this in my last vlog but where we live is now up to tier three which is very strict rules um, again so like we had to cancel so much stuff for Christmas everything's pretty much shut down like no restaurants no like we can't really do anything except for stay home and obviously uh, the boys are currently on the trampoline and they don't really have a clue about all the rules and everything but we found as well that gaming is such a nice way for them to stay connected with their friends in the first lockdown it was really difficult because when they'd done their schoolwork, they wanted to do a little bit of gaming but then also matt and i were having to try and work from home in our open plan living area so we couldn't have them be too noisy so i wanted to show you some headphones that made things so much easier yeah, so these are the HyperX headsets that we have. They've got a little microphone on them and you can get them wireless or we also have the wired version as well. But it's just meant that the boys have been able to add their friends and family online and then they can play their favorite games with them. So say Fraser could be playing Minecraft with his friends from school, chatting away with them and feeling like he's connecting with friends. Or they also like to play their cousins as well. So it's been a really nice way for them to catch up with them. But obviously online gaming is not always the quietest thing so that is why having a headset has been amazing it's meant they can play stay like in the living area with everyone else because we didn't really want to lose them to like gaming in their bedroom we wanted them to like stay close to 
us, we can still hear like what they're playing, like how they're doing, um, but then we don't get like all the noise of the game and the friends, we can just hear them chatting away. So it's been great because obviously in 2020, we've had to work from home or the boys have also had different times of online lessons, um, but this way we can all be together even if they're playing with friends. And they're super simple to set up, you literally just like plug it in and they're compatible with every console. We've actually got a PS4, um, but even if you have the latest PS5 or the latest Xbox, it works on those as well. And I've discovered that they're also so good for work calls. The audio quality is so good, really crisp and clear. The microphone's really good. I do feel a bit like Britney when I'm wearing it, um, but it's been brilliant to also steal these for work calls and Zoom calls and meetings as well. Um, and yeah, they're just really comfy, very durable, which we need as a family with three boys. Um, so I'll link them in the description because they would make an amazing Christmas present for any gamer. And now we're gonna do some family gaming together. Here he comes. <laughs> I'm a good gamer, aren't I? Definitely. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> in lockdown, they were really into Roblox. And what do you think was my favorite Roblox game that we played? Piggy. Piggy? I do actually like Piggy. <laughs> and I really liked, what's the one where you pretend to be the mum? Adopt me. Adopt me. I really liked Adopt me <laughs> as well. Um, but what do you reckon, what's my favourite game of all time? Think, you know this. Um, PVZ. Yes. Um, I love Plants vs Zombies. We've actually got it on the PS4. Um, they love Minecraft so much, like all of them. I don't really know. Like, I like Among Us. You like Among Us now, that's like the latest thing that he's been playing a lot, Among Us. Jackson loves Minecraft. He also really loves this thing called Gang, Gang Beasts. Beasts. Uh, he plays that, like they play that together and they like fight and enjoy that. Um, so yeah, so should we play some in Gang game, Beasts? Not in real life. Not in real life, no. But should we play some Gang Beasts now? Alright. Yeah? You can teach me how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I show everyone your little haircut? What happened the other day? Did daddy take you and cut off all your curls? Now you look so grown up. It's aged you so much and you look so much like Caleb now as well, don't you? I like you now. You look like Caleb now with your little short hair. Well, he, he's a mixture. He's a mixture of you two. Not me and Matt. He just looks like you two. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna make lunch and the boys have requested bagels for lunch. Yesterday, Matt did a huge Christmas um, food shop to hopefully last us like through the holiday season. So we won't have to keep going back or anything. Um, so we've got loads in, but they want to have some cheese bagels. Also something that's quite exciting that's happening today is we're having Jackson's room wallpapered. The wallpaper has been stripped and the new one is going up. We've had the rad taken off the wall so we could be decorated and that window has been filled in, which I think I showed you in a previous vlog and I will of course do a whole transformation video, um, but I'll show you which wallpaper I chose. 
Yeah, so this is the wallpaper that we've gone for. It's just white with little specks of blue. We thought this would be good while he's young, but it would also see him through until he's older. And we found it online. It's called Levette's wallpaper, I believe. I think it came all the way from America. Um, so this is what's going up today and hopefully it will transform his room. It's going on every wall. So we're now gonna do something that is so exciting. We're gonna have a screening. Of Caleb's nativity. Obviously this year that they couldn't do like a normal nativity and have parents in to watch it. So they filmed it and they've put it on DVD for us to see and Caleb doesn't know that we've been able to pick it up from the school today. So we're just checking it works and it does. So we're gonna get Caleb in here and we're all gonna like watch it. Born in a brand new <gasps> Now, we're just playing with the trolls, aren't we? It's still rainy and gross outside, so we're just playing soft toys. Aren't we, Baba? Yeah. He likes to talk them, don't you? What's that? You can be Biggie, because I can't talk like Biggie. Oh, I'll be Biggie, shall I? James Corden? <laughs> Right, so we've decided to go out to the park now. It's finally stopped raining and we're all going a bit stir crazy indoors. We're gonna go and have a run around. We've got the skateboard, we've got the scooter, we've got my festive jumper on as well because we might go and see the lights afterwards. And I've actually had quite a few questions about this jumper. I actually got it from, I don't know how to say it. It's either Sheen or Shein. Um, but I've ordered from them a couple of times. The only thing with them is it takes ages to come and it can be a bit hit and miss, but I do quite like um, the festive jumpers that I got and I've actually put some lipstick on for a change apparently lipstick sales have gone down this year because everyone's just wearing a mask and not going out so they're not selling as many and I must admit like normally around Christmas I'll get like a, a red to wear or like maybe a few like winter lips and I haven't bothered this year um, but anyway that was a fun fact for you guys and um, we're off to the park I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies. Jackson's now grown into Caleb's coat from last year. So he's got it as a hand-me-down, don't you? It's really warm. Oh, it's a horrible grey day, but it's actually really mild, so it's not that cold. Caleb's actually refusing to wear his coat, so it can't be that cold. So let your guard down. So we're all done at the park and now we're on the hunt to find this really Christmassy house. My friend went and it was also in our local press. Uh, we've never been to it before but apparently this family have been making their house like really, really Christmassy for like 37 years and they go all out for charity so you can go and see it and like donate um, some money and like have a look at it. So it's not actually that far from us so we thought we would go and check it out. So I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> Oh look, is that the house? Or is that the house? <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, look at that! <laughs> Whoa!
Right, so we're home now and I wanted to show you the progress in Jackson's room. All of the wallpaper is up for now. So hopefully you can see, it actually feels like a brand new room. It's so bright, even though it's night time. Um, so yeah, there's wallpaper on all of the walls. Obviously this one's got all the wardrobes. We are gonna paint them white and change the handles, um, but we're gonna keep them. But yeah, it's looking really nice. Just need to like put the furniture back and we're waiting for his new bed and a few other bits. But soon, I think we can actually um, put this room together. Hello, hi, Matt is just making lentil chili and I am uploading the video for tonight. It is actually 6.35 right now, so this needs to be live at seven o'clock in 25 minutes. So it's like down to the wire tonight. I normally try and schedule videos at least the day before it's going live. But today it has just not happened. And obviously we've had the kids at home and um, I was doing a few ads for Instagram and all of that. So have not got it done, but I think I'm gonna make it. I'm just adding like the thumbnail, the tags, the description um, and all of that now. Let's take her dinner, knock on the door and say, mommy, we got your dinner. Knock on the door. Hello, Open it, bub. I think she thinks we got your dinner. Thank you. So I have done it with six minutes to spare. It's all scheduled. <laughs> Right, so it's now 9 p.m. and all the boys are in bed so I'm now hiding out in the front room away from Matt because I'm actually going to wrap and sort out his birthday presents. I know you guys have already seen us celebrate his big birthday uh, but it's actually in two days time um, but by the time this video comes out it would have already been his birthday so I might as well show you what I've got him. I find him so difficult to buy for because if there's something he needs or wants, like running shoes or jeans or I don't know, anything like that, he'll just get it himself. Um, so I really struggle to know what to get him, but his main present that he actually really wanted is this, which I know nothing about. It's like a big oh, sound bar. So I've got him the sound bar that he wanted. Also got him this because it has to be done. It's his absolute favorite. <laughs> yeah, can I just apologize for the lighting in here as well? Um, but I also got him a little fragrance set of this Pen Halligan's fragrance. It's called Halfiti. Then I also got him something quite random. Um, I got him these little mini cocktails. Matt is not a big drinker, like he'd never have a beer at home or a glass of wine or anything like that. But if he ever does have a drink or we're celebrating something, he would have a cocktail and it would be an amaretto sours. So I got him a little box of like pre-made um, amaretto sours and that is what they look like. And we've had cocktails from them before and they're really good. But I just realized I need to keep this gift in the fridge, don't I? So I'm gonna wrap it put it in the fridge. <laughs> then because it is a big birthday, it's actually his 40th, I wanted to get him something special. So I got him a newspaper from the day that he was born and a bottle of champagne as well to celebrate. But I thought he would think that this is cool because on the days that our three boys have been born, he's always made sure um, that he's bought a newspaper on that day. So we have newspapers from all of their birthdays. Um, so I thought that he might think it's interesting to read the headlines and what was going on on the day that he was born. Um, then, while I was on that website, I also saw that they do like personalized sports books in a way. So he's a big supporter of Tottenham Hotspur, so they can actually put together a book of like all the newspaper clippings um, in his lifetime about his team. So I think it's like 40 years about whatever Tottenham has done. I don't know a huge amount about it, but this present is actually going to be from the boys. Fraser thought it was really cool. Um, and then if you open it up, it's got like just everything that they've done, like the highs and lows. Um, obviously, I think at the moment they're like top of the league. 
I think that's what he said. Um, but obviously it hasn't always been that way. So hopefully he'll find it interesting and it's all like nice and it says like happy birthday Matt inside it. Um, obviously we did the igloo thing and everything. Um, so yeah, I hope he likes it. I don't really know. He's, like I said, so hard to buy for. I was asking him what he wanted. Um, obviously he wanted the sound bar. That's the main thing. So I think he'll be happy with that. And then these can be like extra. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap all of these up and then I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and spending the day with us and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.